Right, ladies and gentlemen, please excuse this very grainy um, video uh, film. I'm filming in appalling light in winter um, London, and the uh, light is fading fast outside. I'm filming by natural light, and this is a mobile phone video. But I want to get this item on this weekend. It's an extremely rare book of 1823. It's the second of two volumes originally pu published, but it is in its contents sort of separate in itself. Um, it's a book of travels. It's called Travels Through Part of the United States and Canada, in 1818 and 1890 by John M. Duncan in two volumes, as I said, this is only volume two, and it's published in Glasgow in 18. Um, 23. I'm so sorry we can't focus on this much more. Um, it's, it's just uh, the, the, the appalling light. The book is in its original binding, but is disbound in the fact that the, in the, uh, the, the front cover is, has come off. But otherwise, the volume is uh, tight and fairly clean, apart from the last couple of pages, which there um, are sort of, there's a little bit of a split in the, in the sort of binding there. But it's a fascinating book of early American travels. Um, this volume deals with, I'll just tell you what's in this volume. It deals with um, the journey from Albany to Buffalo, uh, the slave plantations, um, um, uh, all sorts of traditions and um, all sorts of um, experiences of the area. Niagara Falls, the falls of Niagara in many, many, many different sections. The, there's a whole large section on American Indians, um, the purchase of Indian lands, um, the degraded condition of the Indians, uh, interpreters, um, the five nations um, of Indians, um, conduct of Europeans towards the Indian, the Indian religion, the Indian languages, ancient burial mounds, etc., 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 probable means of civilizing the Indians, um, uh, Mr. Hunter's captivity among the Indians, many, many, many subsections. Then it goes on to Niagara Town, Lake Ontario, St. Lawrence, and all these subsections here. Montreal, details of Montreal, its public buildings, its situation, its principal churches and institutions, St. Lawrence River, steamboats, etc. Quebec, all of various aspects on Qu Quebec, the lower town, nunneries, the woods, um, mode of felling trees, the various parts of um, Quebec, Lake Champlain, then New York, a great section about New York, boarding houses, markets, Tammany Hall, a slave trader, slave markets, remarks on slavery, etc., 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 New Year's Day observances. Uh, it goes on and on. Many sections of the whole life of New York outlined there, political um, religious liberty, the orphan asylum, political constitutions, etc. More and more and more section upon section on New York. The book is scarce. There are no copies currently for sale anywhere on the internet that I can find. All you will find are e-books of it from rare copies in libraries or print-on-demand um, sort of um, uh, digitalized or facsimile versions uh, on the 140 million volume A books, antiquarian books, like there is not one single copy of either volume one or volume two for sale. Rare book of detailed travel observations in America and uh, accounts of the American Indians and Negro um, situation. Thanks very much. Bye.